The afternoon of the second day brought wholesale changes in Target New Zealand. Glenn Inkster's self-confessed driver problems of yesterday were replaced with mechanical woes as the Evo 8's exhaust was repaired to keep him in the game. We uh, broke an exhaust manifold which meant for 30, it was a 40k stage, a 30 of it we had no turbo, so um, no, no boost. Um, our best drive of the day was actually minimising time loss. He beat Hayden McKenzie through special stage 9, but very next stage the rally leader misjudged the flying finish, ending the day early. We uh, were going for the finish line and came over the top of the brow, misread the uh, corner and thought it continued off around right uh, when obviously there was a left-hander involved so we've, uh, we've shot it off the bank which is a shame because the rest of the stage was absolutely mint. First moment we've had all rally and, and this happens and yeah, no, it's just a real shame for us. Oh, you good? Yeah, I'm all good mate. That handed the rally lead to Inkster, while Regan Hall from Dunedin, who had been playing second fiddle to McKenzie, assumed the production four-wheel drive lead. Well, we're just sort of getting warmed up, so I want to try and keep, keep knocking at that door. Marcus Van Klink's raucous RX-8 jumped up the all-comers standings through SS11. It's a great rally car uh, on gravel, but uh, we thought we'd do Targa in it, and uh, it's, it's proven quite, quite good at the moment, so last stage was, yeah, very entertaining uh, third pass through there, so we're pushing pretty hard. It's not the easiest thing to drive in in this heat though, it's extremely hot, um, but uh, you know, I need to lose some weight, so it's a good opportunity. Mark Kirkbenand has maintained his stranglehold on HWR Classic, despite Derek Ason winning four of the five stages today. These, these South Island escorts are something to be feared. Um, yeah, so I, I think I think Derek's um, uh, right up there with Regan Ross, um, and I, I've had experience with Regan Ross before, and it's um, given me a bit of a shock. The man of the moment, though, is Glenn Ingster, who assumes the rally lead at the end of day two.